Do you have $100 that you'd normally stick into the slot machines, but you want to give craps a try? Today I'm going to show you three different strategies I would play if I only had $100. Today we are going to look at a $10 table. With only $100, this isn't going to give you many chances to overcome the ebbs and flows of this game. You'll need to get lucky early on if you want to play for any amount of time or actually win some money. But it can be done. Now I'm going to show you three different strategies and then I'll test them out with a live roll of the dice. The most common bet, the pass line. This player is going to put $10 on the pass line. When the puck is off, that means a 7 or 11 will win. 2, 3, and 12 will lose. Any other number that rolls becomes the point. Let's say it's the 5 that rolls. Now the pass line wins with the roll of 5, but loses with the roll of the 7. This player is going to make one more bet. So we're going to take another $10 and make a come bet. Now this works exactly like the pass line, but you make the bet in the middle of the game when the puck is on. So again, 7, 11 is going to win, 2, 3, or 12 is going to lose on the next roll. Or if any other number rolls, let's say it's an 8, the come bet would move up into the 8. Now this is bet is a bet on the 8, and the 7 will lose. Now I'm going to go through a lot of this very quickly. If you don't understand any of these bets, then I would recommend I have a free beginner's course that goes through all the main and major bets at a nice slow pace. And you can find that for free on my website, colorup.club. Now that's it for the first strategy. We're just gonna make a pass line bet and then a come bet. So what we have is two numbers working for us. The five or the eight is a winner, the seven is a loser. Now we're already down to $80 left, so it's difficult to bet any more money. But if you are gonna bet more money, let's say you've won a couple bets, or actually you have more than $100 bankrolls, the next step you would wanna do is take an odds bet. So after the pass line be, has a point, you would take, we'll start with $10 and put that right behind the pass line. This is a great additional bet as the casino doesn't take any commission out of this bet. So you'll get paid fairly. If you wanted to add odds to your come bet, you would take your money, in this case, let's say $10 and put it in the come and tell the dealer, odds on my eight, please. And he would take it and put it on there just like that. For the second player, we're just gonna be making place bets on the six and eight. Now, if you are the shooter, you're required to make one of these bets. So we'll assume someone else is shooting, or if you are the shooter, you can actually say pass, you know, pass the dice to the next shooter. But if you do want to shoot, you'd have to make one of these two bets. All right, so the shooter rolls a number, and let's say it goes on the 10. Now the 10's the point. Now we don't care about that as a place better. We can place bet any of these numbers. So what we're going to do is take $25 and put it in the cum and tell the dealer, place the six and eight, please. That's going to be a $24 bet. He's going to give you $1 and change, and he's going to set up $12 on each, the six and eight. So it's going to cost a little bit more money, $24, as opposed to this player who, who put $10 on the pass and $10 in the cone. That was $20. This is going to be $24. The nice thing about a place bet is you get to choose the numbers. And in this case, these are the two best numbers you can make a place bet on. They have the lowest house edge, and they have a lot of combinations to roll. There's five ways to roll the six, five ways to roll the eight. So there are 10 dice combinations that will win one of our bets. Just for reference, there are six ways to roll a seven. So we've got 10 combinations that'll win versus six combinations to lose. The payoff for these bets is seven to six, so you always wanna make these bets in increments of $6. In this case, you could start at six at a $5 table, but here we're at a $10 table, so 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and so on. Now, if you've won a couple times and you'd like to increase your bet, you certainly could. You can take these $12 bets up to 18, or you can grab another number. Now, all the other numbers are just $10 bets. So let's say if the eight won a couple times and we've got some winnings, these will pay $14. You could take that $10 anytime you want and ask the dealer to place another number. I'd recommend working your way out. So maybe you would choose the five. But again, with only $100, you might just want to stick with the six and eight and see how things go. All right, a third player is going to be a don't player. So he's going to make a bet on the don't pass. This works exactly opposite of the pass line. This will win with a two and three, but it's a bar the 12, which means it's just gonna push. It won't win or lose. And it will lose if a seven or 11 rolls. If any other number rolls, let's say a nine rolls. Now, if a nine rolls, we lose this bet 
in this, if a seven rolls, we win this bet. So on the don't pass, it's opposite. Once there's a point established, this bet is always favored to win. Just like the other strategies where we invested approximately $20, we're gonna make one more additional $10 bet and we're gonna put that in the don't come. Again, this works just like the don't pass, but you make it in the middle of the game when this puck is on. So on the next roll, two, three will win, seven, 11 will lose, any other number, say the six rolls, this will travel behind the six. That means you're betting against the six. The seven will win. If you roll a six, it'll lose. Any other number, it really doesn't affect it. So here we have a seven will win both our bets, the six and the nine. If we roll a nine, we'd lose this amount. If we roll a six, we'd lose this amount. The nice thing about betting on the don't is all your bets win at once and you only lose one bet at a time if they roll. Now, if you wanna be more aggressive or if you got some winnings and you wanna increase your bets, you could do what's called a lay bet odds or lay odds. I'm not gonna get into that with this video. It's a little more complicated. I do discuss it in my, again, my beginner video series. So check that out if you're interested. But if you want a little more action and you're playing the don't, I'd recommend maybe just making another don't come bet. So on the next roll, again, two, three is gonna win, 7 will lose. Let's say the 10 rolls, this would move behind the 10. And again, at this point, you're favored to win this bet. Let's say a seven rolls, all these would win and get paid. Now this is just going to be an example roll to show you how the bets move around and get paid. Now this isn't a definitive you know, proof positive that one way to play is better than the other. At any given time, it's gonna matter how the dice roll. If the dice are rolling a lot of six and eights, this player's probably gonna come out on top. If the dice are rolling and hitting a lot of the numbers that are marked with the puck, then the pass line player is gonna do well. And if there's a lot of quick sevens, the don't pass player is gonna do well. So it always depends on the dice. So let's go ahead and roll this out and kind of, so you can kind of get a feel of how these different bets work. All right, our first player is gonna start with $10 on the pass line. Our second player, he's just gonna wait. Now you can make a place bet and, and override this button. This, is, this button tells you whether these bets are off or they're on. You can always override this. The dealers have little buttons, but we're not gonna worry about that for now. So he's just gonna wait. And then our don't player is gonna go ahead and put $10 on the don't pass. Now you'll always place these bets right in front of where you're standing. So if you're over here on this side of the table, you'd put your bets here. And obviously they're right. You, this player can't bet here because of this six and eight. That's a different story. Don't make this bet, but go ahead and put it as close as you can. All right, here we go. We have a new shooter and he's coming out. Let's see what happens. Eight, eight's gonna be our point. So the deals will mark the eight. Now this bet will win with the eight and this bet will lose with the eight. All right, player one is going to take $10, put it in the come and the dice will decide which number we bet on next. All right, player two is gonna take $25 and ask the dealer to place the six and eight. The so dealer will take your money. You'll get a dollar and change. You can just put that in your rack and then he'll set up your bets on the six and the eight for $12 each. Now our third player is gonna make one more additional don't come bet. So everyone has approximately $20 invested in the game. Again, our place better has a little more at $24. So let's see what happens for the next roll. A quick seven, seven out. That's a very, very short roll, but it does happen sometimes. And it's actually got a nickname. People call it the point seven out. You establish a point and then the very next roll you seven out. Pass line bet is gonna be a loser. This is gonna be a winner. Our don't come is gonna be a loser. And our come bet's gonna be a winner. Now the bad thing for the place better is he has no winnings. All of his bets are gonna come down. So this player wins there and this player wins there. They're both in the exact same position they were. The puck's gonna come off because we sevened out. So he can rack that up and he'll start back over on the pass line and this player will rack this up and start back over on the don't pass. The dice will move to the next shooter. He'll get to choose two dice and roll them down the table. 10, 10 easy. 10 is gonna be our new point. So this is gonna be a 10. Player's betting on the 10, this player's betting against the 10. We're gonna go ahead and make a comeback to get our second number. This player, again, was gonna drop 25 
in the com and tell the dealer to place the six and eight. You get a dollar change and it'll set you up for $12 each on the six and eight. Our don't player is gonna take $10 and go ahead and make a don't come bet. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens for the second roll. Eight, eight easy. Our don't come is gonna travel behind the eight, so now he's betting against the eight. Our come player is gonna travel inside the eight and he is betting that an eight will win. And our place better already has that bet, so his $12 is going to win $14. So we can go ahead and rack that up. So our pass player has two numbers. He's betting on the 10 and the eight. And our don't pass player, he's trying to avoid two numbers. He's trying to avoid the 10 and he's trying to avoid the eight. Our place bet player, he's still looking for that six and eight. All right, here we go. Six, six hard. These two players don't have anything on the six, so they're not affected, but our place better has a $12 bet. He's gonna win $14. Now probability says you're gonna see these numbers more often. These are more often, these are less often. They, the most common numbers are in the middle, the least common are outside. All right, let's keep the roll going and see what happens. Nine, Neener nine, center field nine. No one has any bets on the nine. We don't care about it. Maybe other players do, but none of our players in this example do, so it doesn't affect anybody. So we just keep rolling. 12, 12 midnight. None of our players have a bet on that. We don't care about it. Yo, 11, yo, 11. That's the 11 again. None of our players have a bet on that. Now these are ways to play that I recommend. You can bet on the field, which would have won with the 11 and won twice, it pays double on the 12, or you could have bet those numbers over here. And for your $1 bet, you would have got paid 15. Your $1 bet here on the 12 would have won 30. Problem is these are only one roll bets. If they don't roll in the very next turn, they lose, unlike these ones, which will stay there. Not great bets, I'm not gonna recommend them. If you want to, they're fun, you can get into that. Check out my beginner series, how they work. If you got a $100 bankroll and you're playing, stick to these bets. All right, here we go. Six, six, easy, we hit that six again. So our two line bettors don't have anything on it, but we got a $12 bet here. Again, it went $14. We've won a few times. You could start thinking about if you'd like to bet on another number or increase these bets. Again, that's gonna be a little more aggressive, but that's up to you. So here we go. Five, no field five. None of our players on the five, we don't care. So we'll just keep rolling. Seven, seven out. All right, this player is gonna lose. Our place bets are both going to lose. Our come bet, that's a loser. Now our don't pass player, he's gonna win with the seven, and then his don't come bet that traveled to the eight, it's gonna come down and get paid. So he's gonna win both of his bets. Seven out, the puck comes off. All right, there'll be a new shooter. So we'll start it all over again. $10 on the pass. This player's gonna wait. And $10 on the don't pass. Let's go ahead and roll the dice, get a point established. Nine. Nine's gonna be our point. So we'll go ahead and mark the nine. This player's gonna make an additional come bet. This player, he has the change, so we can actually count out and do $24. Say place the six and eight. Dealer, just take your money and whoop, there we go. Set you up on the six and eight. Our don't player, he's going to take $10 and put it in the don't come. All right, here we go. Eight, eight easy. Don't come is going to travel behind the eight. Our come bet is going to now be betting on the eight. And our place bet player, he's got the eight covered. $12 bet is going to win 14 All right, everyone's set up. Let's keep the roll going. Ooh, another fast seven out. 
pass line will lose, the come bet will lose, our place bet's gonna lose, our don't pass is gonna win, as well as our don't come is gonna win. Puck is gonna go off. All right, let's get everyone reset. You can kind of look at the racks and see who's doing better because we're rolling quick sevens. Let me kind of clean this up so we can kind of get an idea visually of how the place better is doing. All right, we'll have a new shooter. We get to choose two new more, two new dice and throw them down to the far end of the table. Seven, okay, this is interesting. Seven on the come out. Our don't pass player is gonna lose. Our pass line player is gonna win. So he can go ahead and rack that up. Our don't pass player, he's gonna to have to reset if he'd like. So he's gonna play another $10. And then we'll go ahead and roll again. We're still trying to make a point. Another seven, and this happens sometimes. Again, our don't pass will lose. Our pass line will win. He can just rack that up. Let's get another new bet down for our don't pass player. And let the dice fly. Nine, neener nine. Nine, 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 mark the nine. All right, pass line player is gonna get a come bet in. This player is going to go ahead and drop $24 to the dealer and ask him to place the six and eight. By this point, he probably knows what you're doing. And the don't pass player is gonna make a don't come bet. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow, quick seven. The pass line will lose. The don't come will lose. The place bets are gonna lose. The don't pass is a winner because it, the roll ended on a seven and the come bet will win because he's starting the game and he wins with the seven on the start of the game. Our puck is gonna come off though. So we can go ahead and rack that. Go in the pass, rack his, and we'll have a new shooter. The dice will go to the next player. And here we go. Four, four hard, four the hard way. So he'll make another comeback. We're gonna go ahead and give 14 to the dealer. He'll set you up. And our third player is gonna make a don't come bet. Now this area might be hard to reach and it's not that common of a bet. If you are a, if you do wanna bet the don't pass and don't come, you might wanna, if there's room available, try to be on this side of the table somewhere so you can reach that bet. These bets are dealt with by the dealer. The rest of the bets are self-service bets. All right, let's see what happens on the second roll. Yo, 11. Remember, for the first roll, 7-11 is going to win, so this player is going to win his bet. 7-11 is a loser, though, for the don't, so he's going to lose his bet. These bets are not affected because the game is in the middle of the session. They're, they're betting four or against the four. So let's go ahead. It's up to you. You can wait for the next shooter, or you can go ahead and make another don't come bet. So this player, can he can just rack that up. All right, let's see what happens. Ooh, seven, seven out for the shooter. That's gonna be a loser on the pass, loser on the don't come. And our place bets, they didn't get any hits. They're gonna be a loser there. Our don't pass is gonna win and our come bet's gonna win. And then the puck will come off. So we can go ahead and rack that. Start over in the pass line, rack this, and we're in the start it ready in the don't pass. Let's go ahead and give this one more roll to see what happens. All right, here we go. 10, 10 easy, 10 is gonna be the point. This player is gonna make an additional comeback. This player, does he have enough? Yeah, he has enough. Try it one more time, $14 to the dealer. And the don't pass will make an additional don't come back. All right, here we go. 
eight, eight hard. The don't come is going to travel behind the eight. It means it's a bet against the eight. The come is going to travel inside the eight. So he wants the eight to roll. And then this player is going to win $14 for his $12 bet. This is racks a little light. We need to hit some more of those numbers. All right, here we go. There's that eight right back. All right, our don't player, he had a bet on the eight. He's going to lose that bet. Our pass line player is going to win. This bet has to come down and then get paid. It can't just stay there. So he can rack that money or he can make another come bet if he'd like. We'll go ahead and make another come bet. And then our place bet player, again, he's going to win 14. Do we want to spread out to another number? Our rack's getting kind of light. We'll go ahead and just collect. Our don't player only has one bet. Do you want to make another bet? That's, that's up to you. And how much money do you have in your rack? What do you want to do? I want to make another bet in the don't come. All right, here we go. do si do Eight, eight the hard way. Same thing as before, travel behind the eight, this bet will travel inside the eight, and then we've got a winner here of 14. Now, sometimes they'll look in your rack and see you have a lot of ones. Instead of 14, they'll pay you $15 for one. So they might tell you, hey, drop me a dollar. In that case, you just give them a dollar and then he'll pay you $15. He's just making change for you. All right, here we go. Six, six, easy. Our line players are not on there, but our place bet player has uh, $12, so he's gonna win 14 again. Again, drop me a dollar. So you give that to the dealer and he'll give you 15. All right, let's keep this roll going. Four, four, easy. Nobody's on the four, so we'll just go ahead and keep it going. Nine, center field nine. Again, none of our players care about the nine at this point. We don't have any bets on it. Five, same thing, no bets on it. We'll keep going. Eight, eight the hard way. Our don't player is gonna lose. Our place, our comeback player is gonna have to come down and win. So he could just rack that and go in the come for his next bet. And our place bet player is going to win 14. Again, I got plenty of ones. Sir, drop me a dollar and he'll pay you out 15. Let's go ahead and follow up. So our don't player has two bets. All right, here we go. Eight, eight easy. That keeps happening, doesn't it? All right, our don't's going to go behind the eight. Kem's going to go inside the eight. When you're rolling the six and eight, it's going to be good for the place player. You can see he's starting to catch up now a little bit when he was almost out of money. All right, so we're going to win 14. And maybe we decide to be a little aggressive. Um, and we'll bet on the five. So you, leave, you put your money here and ask the dealer to place the five, please. So he'll move it up to the five. Well, he, this player's a little aggressive. Maybe this player should be. So he's going to bet an additional bet that the 10 is going to roll. So he's got odds on the 10. Well, these players are going to be aggressive. Let's go just for the example's sake. I'm going to make this don't player be a little more aggressive and try to get a third bet too. All right, here we go. Five. All right, this don't come travel behind the five. And we have a, 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 a bet here of 10, and that's going to pay the same amount. It's going to pay 14. So it pays a little more than here. $12 to win 14, 10 to win 14. That's because this number is harder to hit. Again, sir, drop me a dollar. You'll go ahead and throw a dollar in, and he'll pay you out 15. So we can rack that up. All right, let me move these ones back here. And keep it rolling. 10, 10 the hard way. All right, our don't pass is betting against the 10, so he's gonna lose that bet. Now our pass line player, he actually doubled up, he made an odds bet. So what's cool about this is that pays two to one. So he's gonna win 10, $20 for that bet back there, and then he'll just win 10 for that. 
So his aggressiveness paid off that time. So we can rack all that up. And because we rolled the point, the puck will come off and we start over, but the same shooter gets to keep rolling because he hit his point. He hasn't sevened out. All right, when the puck is off, these place bets aren't, remember, they're off too. Now it's different for these bets. They're, they're working, which means they will win or lose depending on what rolls. So our don't player has two bets. He's hoping for the seven and not the five and eight. So I'm not gonna make any more additional bets with him. Our pass line player is hoping for the 7-11 there, but he's also got a bet on the eight. All right, here we go. Four, four easy. Wasn't that just our point? No, it was the 10, all right. The point is now the four, so this is a bet on the four. Our second player is happy with his three numbers. Our don't player now has two numbers. All right, here we go. Nine, neener nine. Center field nine. They say that because it's three numbers on this side and three numbers on that side of the nine. It's the center number. All right, and we have no nine, nobody cares. At least our players don't. Six, six the hard way. Now I'm calling out hard way because that's a special way to roll the dice. It's a little more difficult to roll the six. In this case, you get paid a little more if you bet on it. These are called the hard way bets. All right, our line players are not on the six, but our place player is. So it's gonna win 14. Player, drop me a dollar. So you'll drop that to him and he'll give you 15. 15 for one. Now before I roll again, I'll tell you one kind of advantage of a place bet player. He could take these bets down anytime he likes. So if you want, you could take all these, ask the other to take you down, and you can return it, go home. Because it looks like we're up a little bit. Our pass line and come bet player, he cannot take his bets off. They're called contract bets, the only contract bets in the game. So if he'd like to remove his eight or he'd like to move his four, he can't. That's because when the puck was off, he had the advantage. Now the puck is on, the casino has an advantage and they want to win their money back. They don't want you to have the advantage for the first roll and walk away. Now the don't player is the exactly opposite. The player was at a disadvantage for the first roll but now he has the advantage because there's more ways to roll a seven. So if you wanna take these bets down, the casino will let you because they know you're more likely to win these bets. Doesn't mean it'll happen, but it's more likely. So they'll be more than happy for you to remove your bets. So just remember, pass and come bets, always contract, you can never touch them again. All right, here we go. Let's keep this roll going. Yo, 11. None of our players on the 11. Nine. No one's on the nine, so we'll just keep rolling. Five, fever five, we got the five. Our don't player has a bet on that, that's gonna lose. He didn't wanna hit it. Place player, $10 is gonna win 14. Go ahead and drop me a dollar and I'm gonna pay you 15 for one. Go ahead and rack that up. Now I have multiple videos on another topic that I'm not discussing here, but anytime you play, your dealers are typically paid minimum wage and they make their earnings or their living off of tips. So keep that in mind when you're playing. You can bet, you know, $1 bets for the dealer. You don't have to make it $10 bets like the tail minimum. Or you could just, you know, $5, throw it into the dealer and say for the dealers, tip for the dealers. But that's something to consider. Even if you're only brought $100 to play with, you know, you should consider some of that being budgeted as a tip for the dealers. Now, if you lose right away, they're probably not going to expect you to tip them. That's kind of understandable. You just lost, you know, $100 in 10 minutes, fine. But if you want some money or you're at a, you know, they've been servicing you for a long part of the day, go ahead and make sure you're tipping the dealers. All right, let's keep this roll going. This is gonna be our last roll, so let's make it a good one. Nine, nobody's on the nine. I hope this kind of gives you a good idea of how these different bets work. 12, again, it doesn't necessarily mean which strategy is better. Eight, eight easy. Just depends how the dice roll. 
Remember early on, our place better was in last place, and right now he's pulling ahead by, it looks like he's pulling ahead. It's pretty close, actually. And our don't started off way in the lead, and now it looks like he's in last place. All right, so the don't is gonna lose on the eight again. Our come bet is gonna come down and get paid. So we can go ahead and rack that, and he's gonna make another come bet. And our place player, again, drop me a dollar, and he's gonna pay you 15 for one. Now our don't player doesn't have any more bets. I mean, looks like we're down a little bit. Looks like we have about 60 left of our, you might wanna consider walking away or you can go right back at it. It's really up to you. Maybe he's just gonna chill there, take it easy. We'll just let these two players finish it off. Five. This come bet's gonna travel inside the five. We got $10 bet here. We're gonna get paid 14. And you know what? Maybe we're going to, you know, we got some winnings. We're going to cover another number. We're going to ask the dealer to place the nine for us. So now we have the five, six, eight, nine going. Maybe our pass line player wants to get aggressive too. This time maybe he's going to ask the dealer to put odds on my five. So if the five rolls, we're going to win good there. And maybe he's going to be aggressive and make another come bet. Or don't player licking his wounds. Do we want to make him another bet? Sure. We'll make one more bet for him. Since this is our last roll. All right, here we go. Three, three craps. That was a good decision. Why? Well, 7-11 wins, two through 12 loses. That's a loser. Two and three is a winner here. So he's actually going to win his money. So he'll go ahead and rack that up. And maybe this player wants to get back, make another come bet. All right, here we go. 10, 10 the hard way. This will travel behind the 10. We're betting against the 10, and this will come inside the 10. We're hoping for the 10, this player. And you can add odds or not, depending on your bankroll and what you want to do. All right, here we go. Six, six hard. All right, place better is going to hit again. Let's go ahead and drop the dealer $1. Get paid 15 for one. He's out of, I gotta grab another stack of fives here. All right, here we go. Three, ace, deuce. Doesn't affect anybody at this part of the game right now. Nine. All right, nobody's on the nine except for a place player. $10 is gonna win 14. Again, hey, drop me a dollar. I'll pay you 15 for one there. All right, and there's the seven. Seven out, so that's the end of the game. So pass will lose. All of our come bets are gonna lose and our place bets are all gonna lose here. Our don't player is gonna win. So we'll win there and that'll come out to him. And the puck will come off. The dice would move to the next player. Let's go ahead and count up and kind of see where we're at. Visually, you can kind of tell already. All right, after all that time, our pass line player broke exactly even. He has $100. Now, I don't know how long I've been rolling for maybe 20 minutes or so. On the real table, it goes a lot slower. So that may have been an hour's worth of play and you broke even. You know, maybe you want to throw in some tip for the dealers. Um, but whatever, you broke even after an hour of play. Our don't player here, 25, oh, there we go, 25, 50, 75, $80. So he's down $20. Not too bad for an hour's play, 20 bucks of entertainment. And our place better actually looks like he colored up. Remember, he was in last place for quite a while, but at this last roll, we rolled a lot. So. And this is what color up means. You give all your chips to the dealer and he's going to count them out for you. So you take all your chips and you push them to the dealer and say, I'd like to color up. And the dealer will count you out here. We got 100, 125, 150, 165. Oops, 170, 
174. So what they mean by coloring up is they would give you higher denomination chips. So 100, 50, 70, four. And they give that to you because instead of carrying all these chips to the, to the cashier, you got a smaller pile that you can easily handle. So this player actually colored up and did well for the day, broke even and we lost a little bit. Again, it just depends on how the dice roll. I hope that was helpful to you all. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments or hop on the Discord and ask you know, questions directly to me there. And until next time, good luck on coloring up.